Hi, I'm Doug Morton, the Associate Vice Chancellor for Facilities here at NC State. I'm in a typical classroom in Caldwell Hall, and I'm here today to address your concerns about the indoor air quality in our buildings at NC State. What you're gonna see in this short video are members of, of our staff at NC State, engineers and technicians, that will walk you through how we make sure that the air quality in our buildings is good. And we do this for every building on campus, in every space, in every building. What we're committed to is making sure that no one ever enters a space at NC State that is unsafe, ever. So please pay attention to what my staff is gonna to talk to you about in terms of how the buildings are put together, how the systems operate, and how we make sure that you are safe in every space on campus. Hello, I'm Alan Boyette, uh, Senior Director with the Facilities Division, and wanted to take a little bit of time to let you know what we're doing to prepare campus and the building systems. Within the HVAC system, the air handling unit is one of the critical components to deliver high quality and good indoor air quality. There are many aspects that create a safe indoor environment for campus, and these include the community standards that we have for physical distancing, uh, reduced occupancy in buildings, and wearing face coverings. And a properly operating HVAC system is just one more added component to ensure that safe indoor environment. Our staff has gone through our HVAC systems and done a complete preventative maintenance cycle. This includes changing the filters and ensure they're installed correctly and sealed tightly to provide good filtered air to the space. And they've also gone through and verified that the outdoor air ventilation systems are working properly. Campus has many different HVAC systems that were designed and installed in different periods of our campus life. The facilities division, engineers and technicians, as well as environmental health and safety have developed an indoor air quality plan, which included reviewing each of these building systems. We've implemented several specific things to improve the indoor air quality on campus. We've disabled the energy conservation measure that would have reduced the ventilation rates. That way we can maximize the amount of outdoor air ventilation to the spaces. Additionally, we have adjusted occupancy schedules so that the buildings are online a full two hours prior to anyone coming in them and they're doing full ventilation then. Additionally, they will continue to operate for two hours after the last event of the day. As part of developing the indoor air quality plan, we identified some buildings that needed additional actions. Some of those actions included actually moving classes to alternate facilities, further reducing the occupancy levels in that building, or installing portable HEPA units that can provide additional filtration at the room level. We've also installed ultraviolet systems in some of our buildings to provide additional disinfection within the air handler unit. And Facilities Division Environmental Health and Safety will continue to monitor the CDC guidelines and emerging practices within the industry to ensure that we can provide a safe and effective indoor air quality for campus. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this short video. I hope it gave you a good sense of how our engineers and technicians protect the pack. The level of effort we've gone to to make sure that every building meets indoor air quality standards at a national level and give you the sense of confidence that you can do your job in a safe environment. I hope you have a great semester and go Pack.